has assured the House will get to those in Gaza will actually get there because we are getting reports that there are hospitals within the north that only have 24 hours worth of fuel. We are seeing and we are hearing the horrific, horrific reports of children dying. And for those who are trying to work under these horrific um, circumstances, I really want to hear from the House what we are doing to help these people because it's too much. We're crying, we're upset, it's going on and on and on. And we're having statements in this house and these statements are not enough. People need to know that we care and that we're gonna make a difference. I, I, I don't think, um, Mr. Lip, Speaker, there is any doubt that across the House we care deeply about what is happening there. And she asks about how uh, we will achieve access for humanitarian aid. She makes the point quite rightly that it's not getting through in anything like sufficient quantity at the moment. And that is why we are uh, doing everything we can across the international community, across the humanitarian sector, to try and ensure that these pauses are um, implemented and take place as soon as possible. Thank you, Sir Roger. We're seeing a humanitarian catastrophe.